Hi, I'm Jay Staffstrom and I work on some of the coolest spiders on the planet. These ogre face net casting spiders that we worked on for this paper not only have unique and fascinating foraging behavior, but they also have some really cool sensory systems that are well adapted for allowing them to capture prey in, in their own net casting method. The species that we actually looked at is Dinopus spinosa, and you can find them here in Florida or um, scattered across the southeastern U.S. So these spiders are nocturnal. They do nothing during the day uh, but hide uh, and wait until sunset. When these spiders come out at night, they exhibit some extraordinary hunting behavior that's totally unique to this family of spider. Um, and what they do is they'll, they'll make a frame web that kind of looks like the letter A out of non-sticky silk. And then within that frame, they'll, they'll make a fuzzy rectangular net that they hold with their front forelegs and they'll actively ensnare prey with this net. They can catch prey with this net both with prey items moving beneath them, like walking on the ground uh, beneath their frame web. They can uh, do a, a forward strike is what it's called when they're lunging downward um, and tackling prey that way. Or if an insect is flying above or close close by, they can actually spring up backward, um, and that, that's called the backward strike, and catch things out of the air that way. Ogre-faced spiders from the genus Dinopus have the biggest eyes of any spider, um, and they're hypersensitive to light, uh, obviously useful in their nocturnal foraging habits, and that's something that I specifically have shown uh, not so long ago, that when you uh, visually occlude their enlarged eyes. Uh, they're no longer able to capture prey walking beneath them when you when you put them back out in nature and let them do their thing. But those same spiders can still catch things out of the air just fine. And so that finding actually backs up previous research that hypothesized that these spiders can actually hear prey that they're catching with their backward strike. That's something that we wanted to further investigate like, can they actually hear from a distance? What can they hear? Are they more sensitive to specific frequencies? Stuff like that. Um, yeah, and that's, that's what this paper is about.